So as I was editing, I realized how bad the audio was on the video. And I honestly, I'm so sorry, but you know, it's up. And I know I'm like going in and out of topics and yeah, sorry guys. But I hope you guys still like the video and you guys actually watch it. I know it's a lot. I'm sorry. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome to my channel. Okay, so today, of course, I started off with a plain face. I'm going to be telling you guys what's been going on, why I haven't really been uploading a lot. Well, at all, honestly. Um, it's just been a crazy what has it been like two or three weeks i think let me just start by priming my eyes so first things first um i know i said on my instagram that i wanted to start having different people on my channel doing my makeup or just both of us getting ready together and kind of like showing off their makeup I'm still trying to do that, but I want to get a better camera because I, okay, so what I use right now to film is just my iPhone. I have an iPhone XS Max and I just use the front camera. So I did have a Sony camera. Well, I still have it, but I really don't like it. I don't like the quality of it. And maybe I just don't know what settings to put it on but I just I'm not a fan I don't like it so I'm trying to sell it and get a new camera because I'm just I'm not a fan I'm not a fan honestly I don't even know what I'm doing with myself right now so we'll see what I end up doing so I'm getting the shade give me mocha right here Putting it in my crease. So, what's been going on? So, basically, um, so I had a surgery and then we baptized my son. So, the week before, which is kind of like crazy a little bit because the person I am is I kind of stress a little bit and I just like. I'm starting to overthink things a lot and I've honestly never been like this until after I've had my son like when postpartum depression and everything hit like I don't know I just changed so like I overthink things a lot and I like to plan it well I've always liked to plan ahead but Back then it's like, oh, if it's not done, then, you know, I'll just get it done later. But no, now it's like, I have to get it done, I have to plan ahead, and I have to have everything in order, basically. So, my mom came down for my surgery, and the baptism. So, the thing is, with my surgery... It was the day before we baptized him and I honestly didn't want it like that but I know I did back up my surgery because I started a new job and let's just say they were like hey and I let them know a week before I was like hey I have my surgery during training like I'm just gonna need like a day because I told them that I was going to do my surgery on Friday so that way I can have the weekend off and then they were like well it's during training so can you like back it up a little bit more and I was like mm, okay so I backed up my surgery and it was like two weeks before his baptism but then the doctor called and was like hey we have to 
back up your surgery again because I have an emergency and I have to go out of state. So I was like, okay, whatever. And then when he told me the date that they had available, the closest one, it was the day before we baptized my son. So I was like, okay, whatever, that's fine. So I feel like that's what had me a little bit more stressed too, is having to worry about my surgery and then having to worry about having everything correct and right and in place the day of his baptism. My surgery, it was a, a left, left surgery, I think so. Yeah, left surgery. And so I've never, the only surgery I've ever had was my emergency C-section and I wasn't, like I wasn't worried this time because I've never been put to sleep for anything. So they put me to sleep and then they had, they did what they needed to do. But like when I woke up, have you ever seen those movies and like once they wake up that they're like all blurry and then you're just like looking everywhere? My dumb ass thought that's how it was gonna be. But no, I woke up crying because <laughs> I was in pain and my throat hurt. And I was like wondering, I was like, why the fuck does my throat hurt? And then my doctor was like, oh yeah, we put a tube down your throat. I was like, so I didn't know they were gonna do that until after i didn't know how to tube down my throat so my throat was hurting a lot and then my stomach was hurting a lot because it's um the lab surgery is like your cervix and i didn't really read up on it i kind of just trusted my doctor and if i needed it then you know i needed the surgery so then the day before they came, they wanted me to come in and like get blood work done and all this extra stuff so i went in and the doctor told me that hey so he basically kind of explained it to me a little bit more because i didn't i didn't really pay attention the first time and he was like yeah well it's like there's like three levels there's like mild moderate and then there's like cervical cancer i was just like oh okay <laughs> so i mean it's not funny but in my head i'm just like oh, okay so you like look i'm just now asking this question and the surgery is already tomorrow so i was already in the moderate stage and i mean the surgery didn't last long like no it really didn't last long we were there for like four hours and then they send you home but you have to like they told me to be in bed and then the next day was his my son's baptism which honestly had me stressing because so nowadays well back then it's like you just had to go to class and then that's it you can be there like for the godparents but no this time it's like they made us do the most the most so it's like you have to be married by church and you just a whole bunch of things so my uncle just had to do it on his own basically and i mean it wasn't too bad but it's just like when he went and talked to the priest because apparently you have to talk to the priest too and he was like well no i'm not gonna i'm not gonna let you be the godparent but i see something good in you or your niece saw something good in you and um and mind you this was literally the same week of the baptism so then that had happened and he was like i'll sign the paper for letting you be the godparent if you come to church and you know do a confession so i was like are you gonna go do it he's like yeah i have to and so i was like okay he went and i met up with him because they need to have like the baby's birth certificate in hand or something and um i stayed with him at church and i don't really go to church like that like i don't i don't remember the last time i went to church 
church, honestly. Like, I know she sounds bad, but I just, I don't. And that day, like, I went to church, stayed in with him a little bit. Well, not for a little bit, I stayed with him throughout the whole thing. And when I tell you, whenever I received the pun, yeah, when I received it, and you know how you have to go back to your seat and like kind of kneel down and like pray. So when I did that, you guys, I started crying. Like, I just started crying because it was the day before my surgery or like the day or two before my surgery. And then, you know, cause I was just honestly like, I was crying and I didn't expect myself to cry. In my head, I'm like, wow, like I needed to come. Like there was a reason. Like in my head, that's like, there, there was a reason that I needed to come. So I felt better. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't know if I'm the only one, but after everything that's been going on, like the shootings and like people kidnappings and it's just like when I was outside like there's in our church it's like when you walk in like all the doors and everything is like straight window but then you go to the side and it's like the big church and there's like little tiny like thin windows so I was sitting outside for a little bit um on the just sitting outside for a little bit and then i went inside when church started but when i tell you like i got so much anxiety like not really anxiety anxiety but i just felt really like cautious and uncomfortable and like kind of scared because in my head i'm like looking for like where i need to go or where i would need to move if like someone comes in here and like shakes the place up like you guys i don't feel comfortable going anywhere like i don't take my son out on my own i have to go with someone because like it's like if something's gonna happen like if someone's gonna try to like like i don't know maybe i'm just overthinking too much like if someone's trying to like you know those zip ties thing that they put on your windshield or whatever like i'm just like if someone does that to me like i'd rather just be my, me and myself like get caught and not my baby like i don't know I just overthink too much. I really do. And maybe it's just like me being extra cautious, but I'd rather have someone there with me when I go out with my son. And if I, if I do go out with him and myself, it's like if we're going out to eat with like friends or family or something, not just like to the store alone. I don't know. It's crazy. Like I know I'm at church. I should feel safe, but I just didn't. Like, I didn't feel safe. I was looking all over, trying to see an exit where I can just, like, go if something were to happen. I don't know. Maybe I sound crazy to you guys. Like, I feel like I'm not the only one that feels like that, but in my head, it's like I am the only one who feels like that. Because it's, I don't know, it's just not a good feeling. Especially when you're, like, when you want to go somewhere and it's like you just don't you just don't feel safe anywhere anymore like you just you just don't like you're constantly well at least for me it's like i'm constantly looking for somewhere like if i have to go somewhere and like i have to look for an exit or like i don't know and then my son has been teething he has his two bottom teeth but now he's like getting one little tooth in the top which is crazy because um, when he got his two bottom teeth, he didn't cry, he didn't do anything. We didn't even notice he was teething, he just, two teeth popped up at the same time. And we were just like, oh, okay. So we didn't even realize, and now that he's teething, and he's getting his two little teeth in the front, or at least just one, I think, but uh, above his little tooth. God, I hate my hair, it's so standing up. So now that he's getting his little tooth in the front, he's like really sensitive. He doesn't like me leaving him or just anyone leaving him. Um, he doesn't like being alone. Like they just bother him a lot. And he's been getting like a little fever. 
you know, I've just been giving him Tylenol. I've been giving him baby orange gel at night with a nice whole surgery thing. Um, so I had my IUD in, I got it in, they didn't let me have it till the, my son was, was three months, three months, three, four months postpartum that they let you have it, um, or at least my doctor let me wait three to four months until he, um, let me get an IUD in, and that was my first time dealing with birth control or anything like that. Let me tell you guys, they only gave me, um, ibuprofen, and then they put the IUD in. I didn't realize how, like, how much that shit hurts. So I got it in, and then during my surgery, he had told me, well, the day before, he had told me if, um, if we keep it in, that he's just gonna have to cut the string, so then whenever it is time to take it out, that they're just gonna have to dig in there a little bit more and, you know, get it out. So in my head, I'm like, oh, that sounds really painful. He was like, it's not a big difference, but it's gonna be a little bit painful. So I thought about that, and he's like, or we can take it out, you know, during your surgery. So I honestly thought about it because having my son um before i even had my son they had told me that i wouldn't be able to have babies i wouldn't you know just i wouldn't be able to have kids so when i met his dad together or whatever um one time we thought i was pregnant but i told him i was like i'm not able to have kids and I, we thought I was pregnant, and I was kind of happy, you know, like, I never wanted kids, I never thought of doing any of that, but, um, somehow with him I did, and, um, whenever that happened, you know, I was like, we talked about it, I was like, well, I haven't, if it happens, it happens, but I went to the doctor just in case, because in my head, I'm like, if we're together later, like, longer, then I want to see how I can have a baby. So I went to the doctors when we had this conversation, and um, she was just talking about, like, she was just talking to me about, like, things we can do for IVF or, you know, try to conceive, and um, literally the week after... Yeah, the week after, I ended up pregnant. So, I was like, so I guess the only thing I had to do was go talk to the fucking doctor. Like, well, whenever I had, I ended up, you know, pregnant. Um, my doctors, doctors were like, you're pregnant. They're like, we don't know how you got pregnant. They were just like, surprised because they were like, we don't know how you had a baby or how he's here or anything like that and I'm just like well I was like me either you guys constantly told me I can have a baby and look at me I didn't even have to try so in my head it's like I just had issues when I was pregnant like once I got to the towards like in the middle they had to put me on a heart monitor for like a week straight and then they made me wear like a bandage on my stomach um because he was like really big for my body and then what else and i think that was it that they really made me do but having the heart monitor on for a week it was like it kind of sucked because they didn't want me to like kind of take it off so i would have to like to shower it's kind of difficult and whenever I was like going through it and after the baby, I was like, I don't want, like, I don't have another baby anytime soon. Like, I was, I just wasn't thinking about it. But then I got to think about it a little bit more and talking to my man. And I talked to his mom and I talked to my mom and just have a conversation. And I was like, was, you know, I was like, I told him, and I, well, I told them, I was like, I don't know if it's going to be hard for me to have a baby. Like, I know it is, but it's like, the first time 
I just had to go talk to a doctor and they were giving me all of these ideas and like telling me what to do and not to do and it's like now that I have the baby I feel like it's gonna be harder well not harder but it's like they already told me I can have a baby so I already have one and it's like in my head I'm like yeah I can have another one but it's like apparently with the left surgery it's like it makes it difficult within a year or something to get pregnant and it's like well I've already had difficulties with that according to everyone because I can't get pregnant and then I was just like what if next thing like God is going to be they tell me that hey like we have to get rid of everything and then that's it like I won't be able to have a baby so we were talking and we're thinking about having another baby because you know I want a family like I never wanted I never wanted kids and then I had Dominic and it's like now I want like I want three kids or four like I don't know maybe it sounds crazy but I want kids like I don't want him being the only child because I'm the only child and I know how it feels like like it's lonely like, I don't know like maybe I sound crazy maybe I don't but it's like I want another kid because if I can I'm able to do it now I might as well that I'm still like young I still want to do it because I don't want it to the later on and have even more difficulties than I'm already having now on having a baby so we'll see how that goes so I have a doctor's appointment for my two week checkup from surgery on Thursday yeah Thursday so I'm gonna talk to my doctor about having another baby and the possibilities of having another baby and hopefully you know he tells me something positive like your whole life you've been told like hey you're a woman like that's what your body's made for and it's like it's hard for some of us to like actually get pregnant and it's like I don't know like I feel like you just blame yourself or you just feel like you're not doing something right this is by far my favorite foundation the nars radiant in the shade fiji i promise you in person this foundation is my color well maybe you can see a little bit on here well when i had the baby when i was pregnant like my skin has just been so dry like so so dry so let me know if there's any products out there that you guys use or know of for dry skin because i exfoliate and i take off my makeup with um the neutrogena wipes or the neutrogena um foaming makeup remover i'm mean, gonna okay but i'm gonna sit here and say it's like oh my god it's the best because it's not also guys we are moving um in october probably <laughs> you guys will know whenever i start having people clearly the videos will be up um, I just want people showing off who they're worth, you know, like, I'm just not the only one out here doing makeup, like, I'm not the only one, you know, I feel like some people need to hear it, some people just don't want to start their own thing because they're afraid of what people are going to say about them. People are so fucking judgmental, especially now that, um, after I give birth, like, of course my body's not gonna be the same, I'm not gonna be skinny, I'm not, like, I don't look like I did when I wasn't pregnant, it's like, sometimes, 
because I don't wear tight clothes like I used to. Like, I've just been in leggings and a t-shirt. Like, that's all you'll see me in. But recently, I've been kind of okay with my body. Like, I'm starting to be okay with, you know, having the little baby gut and being okay with it. Like, I know I can go to the gym. I can work on it, but it's like, I like eating. And it's like, I like to eat. So I feel like working out isn't really going to help me. Because it's just... I'm gonna eat and then I'm working out. I'm basically just working out, losing what I just ate. If that makes any sense. So you guys know I cut my hair short and it's been hard trying to figure out how to do anything to my hair. Like, like this is the most, well, not this, but this, um, kind of like curl it not curl, but like straighten it in like a little you know what I'm trying to say and then like I put it to the side and then I just do like a little swoop <laughs> are cheap in Texas but I'm just my family is here and Tennessee's not that bad like it's growing it's really like downtown and everything like it's cool like it's not too bad okay guys so that is the look so that's really what's been going on why I haven't really been uploading but I will be uploading soon more um, just let me know what you guys want me to upload and I will I promise um, but yeah just you know we're gonna have another baby moving um, yeah. love you guys and thank you so much for watching just go ahead like and subscribe to my channel.